you have a thousand fishes and there are 20 grams all you need to do just to go to this feeding sheet go to the feeding sheet you will see the weight that tallies with your weight the numbers that tallies with your numbers so if you have 1000 you know this is the amount you are going to eat if you have 2000 you know this is the number so with that you're not going to waste your feed you'll be feeding them the right feeding weight on a daily basis so at the end of one week when you are doing the next feeding sheet you do your sampling which you spoke about so you're able to know yes my fish ate one ton they should give me additional weight of nothing less than 900 ki 900 kilo right so if you now do a test cropping sampling and you now prorate you should have an idea yes this fish have really converted my feed because if you don't do that and you are feeding blindly after three months you'll have modeled up your farm and if you have staff on your farm you must do what i call word run on my farm i have 94 ponds i decide to feed anytime i want i can come in the morning i can come in the afternoon i can come five days apart so why do i do this i want to catch my staff unaware if i come to the farm and you're supposed to feed by nine o'clock if I feed those fishes by 9.30, they should not rush feed. If they rush feed, is that you've stolen my feed or you did not feed them? If I come by 9 and you're about to feed, I say, stop. Don't feed so, 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 and so pond. Because I have, I'm going to use my own records. And I get to the pond and I've stuck 1,000. I know the reaction of what 1,000 fish fed like last week when I fed them when you have not fed them if I don't get that reaction from the fish I know something that is amiss and you have not recorded mortality that you have seen physically because mortality on my farm is recorded if I'm not on the farm they're going to send me a video and if you're going to bury it they're going to put them inside Lylon to bury them so I'm able to know the number of fish that have died in each pond because the records are intact. So with that, you're able to get a grasp of what is happening on your farm. As I said, these things takes a lot of research work in the in in, in the Agua office. So before they bring something, so you should know that when they spend so much on this. It's very expedient for our farmers to use it. Please try and go back to that basic for you to understand the issues on your farm. On the issue of uh, advocacy, I I was in Bini, we were in Bini, we were in Bini yesterday, and I asked them. You see all these people that sell herbs, right? They go in those small small buses to do adverts, to do advocacy for their product, which you don't know that they work. But everybody knows that fresh fish works in the body, right? So how often do we do that as a group, as an association, to take our product? The fishmongers make it expensive for the people. So they take it out of the reach of other people that will come and buy and make it a class thing so they will come regularly to prioritize our own market so people need to understand our prices outside there and know that it's easier for them to come to the next available farm and get it on a regular basis nobody's going to do it for us if we don't do it we're going to be out of business i know last year when we came for well, the last time we came to worry the venue was jam-packed I'm seeing empty seats here. In, in, among the, we know some of our friends, our colleagues that are no more doing it. 
or they even stop doing six months and just doing one to keep things alive. So we need to look at that. So whether by association or by clusters, you need to push this thing out to the people. For them to know that no, our fish is healthier and cheaper than all these frozen fishes. It's very important because that is where our sustainers come from. For the market women, they don't care about us. If your farm closes down, they go to the next available farm. If your farm closes down in Delta today, they will go to Edo. If you close Edo, they will go to Ondo. So it's a continuous before they don't really care about us. So it is we that we now understand, yes, this is our life. We need to take hold of the engine seat. We should not be passengers in our business. We need to take the hold of that. So when you look at all these things, it's easier for you to start the time. Yes, we can be profitable and sustainable at the same time. So please let us go back to the basics so that it can be very, very profitable. Thank you very much.